nighttime baseball now from the district as you get a look inside beautiful Nationals Park in Washington. Max Scherzer, a Missouri born right hander, gets the job of starting pitcher here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy has a four third. pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot Captain. of nice options to have. Wow. You can go hard, soft, you can go in and out. And anytime you have four pitches, if you could throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. And he runs it in on him and gets him to swing through it for strike one. Harold, these Nationals as they enter play here tonight, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Well, Matt, they're two and two on the homestand, so obviously you don't want to go two and three if you lose this game here. Three and two, though. The win today gets you shooting towards maybe a nice little winning streak. That's why this game is important to me. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. And here's how the visiting Miami. Well, Matt, this is a very aggressive club. They steal a lot of bases. They're not at the top of the league, but, man, they're right there. They're not far behind. They will run at every opportunity they get to try to force mistakes. And here's a ball hit in the air. Gordon takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. And a look now at the hometown Nationals. Digging in to try it again. Catfish Brown. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Brown. Fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. That pitch was way out of the zone. Looks like he's decided in his mind. As soon as he releases, I'm swinging. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. Third inning, no score to this point. Hey, wait for a good one and drive, and I'll pick one out. And he misses Whoa, two and count. one. The two and one on its way. Fouled back. Into the windup. Here comes the two two pitch. Never Eight tempted four. to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Well, right here, this is what you live for when you know you got a great hitter behind you. You're getting a good count. He's in a count right here, and just look for your pitch. You know they got to come after you. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Marlins. Ready once again, Catfish oh, Brown. For the Marlins. As he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And he got him out in front that time. Strike one. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here. So we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Tell you what, his spot has been the outside pitch right there. And now we're late in the game, and he continues to pound the outside pitch. And it's really working out for him. Curveball ball. that time, not Two even strike. close. Definitely a strikeout situation here with that runner on first. So that's smart, trying to make him chase that slider out of the zone. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Ready for another shot now. Catfish Brown. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. He's set. Here comes the one field on the right side. Murphy will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big out number two. Striding in once again, Bryce Harper. He'll get things started right now in the there. bottom of inning number eight. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Brown sprinting after it one out yeah and that's just a punch to the gut of the home fans as they watch their team fall behind in the top of the ninth then they can't get it done at the bottom and come away with a loss.
Close one tonight, two to one, the final score. Severino Gonzalez wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. AJ Ramos and Matt Vaskersian. Just blocks from the Capitol building. And we now, welcome you to Nationals Park. Tonight it's game three of this four game set between the Miami Marlins and the Washington Nationals. Joe Ross, the California born right hander, is on the mound. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy has a four pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft, you can go in and out. And anytime you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Harold, these Nationals, as they enter play here tonight, they come off another loss last time out. And in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah, Matt, I mean, it's been a little bit of up and down inconsistency. I mean, there's two and three in this homestand. Haven't played solid baseball, but they got a chance to get to the 500 mark with a win in this game right here. And then after that, who knows? Maybe get on a nice streak. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Well, they got him in the rocking chair right now. A little change up, follow up with the fastball, and he's a little late with that swing. I may go back with another change up. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Just got a piece up the line. And a close play at first, but he's called out, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. Now it'll be Washington. Striding into the box, Anthony Washington. Rendon. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Brown is there, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. All right, time for Majestic. Digging in for his second at bat, Catfish Brown. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here comes the first pitch. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1 and 0. That's the advantage of having a good two hitter hitting second in your lineup. He knows he's going to get something to hit because they're going to pitch to him. And now here comes the heart of the order. They've got a great opportunity to get on the board here. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's 1 and 1. As a hitter, you know the pitcher's trying to work you down around the knees hey, time, in a right double now. play situation. So making him get a pitch up and actually in the zone is a must. And this is fouled back and out of play. Oh, he was right on that one. A breaking ball right in his wheelhouse. He just, right oh, here, man, time. he had good timing. Again, he sends it out of play. Hey, let's go, big fellow. Need you right here. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Absolutely getting over Mac. In now is Anthony Rendon. Uh, Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Rendon. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Brown is in his tracks now. As he puts this one away, the side is retired. So just. In now is Adam Eaton. Up next and we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two Adam gone here in the fifth. Eaton. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Brown is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Do a run for the. Stepping in and ready for another right. shot. Catfish Fielder. Brown. Catfish. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Oh and one count and the pitch. Here's a high pop up. Zimmerman is there for it. And that retires the side. Here's Bryce Harper now. Past battles with Edinson Volquez. Four hits right in 19 tries. Right. He's taken him deep Harper. once. This is hit high in the air and pretty deep down the left field line. And he will run this one down. Moving to his right and that's the first out of the inning. 
Digging in once again, Catfish Brown. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. This is a critical point right here. Things are in danger of getting away from him a little, so we'll see how he deals with it. Swing and a little blooper to center. Turner ranges back and he has it for route number two. Stepping in, Anthony Rendon. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Brown is there. He's got it, and there are two down now. Well, maybe a little bit of a problem is that they had to wind up going to that bullpen quite a bit. Five pitchers are going to combine to finish this one to get the win. Close one tonight, two to one, the final score. The Nats seal up their 30th the win at home on the season. Tonight. Joe Ross. Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Should be a fun Father's Day matchup between the Miami Marlins. Tanner Roark gets the ball for Washington in this one. Harold, what do you got? Well, he's been he's good. Third. He's had a solid season. If you look at his strikeout to walk ratio, it's two to one. So that means he's around the plate. He's going to continue to dominate a little bit. But I think the key for him to continue to be successful is stay on the same mindset, pitch by pitch, inning by inning. We'll see if he executes that in this game. HR, these Nationals as they take the field here today, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matt, I mean, you really want to end the homestand on a great note. This is the last game at home for a really long road trip coming up. So fans are going to have to watch you on TV or listen to it on the radio. You want to give them something to kick them off with, and that is a win today. Seems like he's really having a tough time finding that rhythm right here in the first inning. Walked a guy, now he's falling behind this hitter. He better figure it out quick. 2-0 and o count, and the pitch. Pitch misses low. The throw down. The throw is low, and he can't make the pick. Runner at second here with one man out. Yeah, and they were simply not going to give him anything there with the base open. It's a four-pitch walk. At this rate, he's going to set some kind of a record for walks issued in a game or he'll get an early hook. We'll see if he can settle down here and start to find the strike zone or if he continues to struggle. Giancarlo Stanton now. Power a big part of his game as he enters this contest. Number five in the National League home run race. Now a ball hit in the air to straightaway left. This is carrying well. Yeah, he's looked pretty shaky from the first pitch, and things just kind of spiraled out of control from there. I think these guys smell blood in the water, and they... Ready for another chance. Catfish. Wow. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. First offering on its way. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this will be taken in out there by Kinsler, and that ends the inning. Marlins leave one, but they hold a... At the plate, Kenny Dark is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. He's set. Here's the 2-2. This is hit high in the air out to left field. Brown will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Digging in the switch hitter. Catfish Brown. He'll start things out as we begin the fifth. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Cabrera is under this one. One pitch, one away. At the plate, Catfish Brown. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. Catfish 
Brown. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Eaton is under it, makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And they'll add one more on the sacrifice fly as this is now a 6-2 to two ball game. Hey, talk about having a productive inning. You like to see that. You like to add on runs anytime you can. In now is Adam Eaton. And they're down to their now final Maddie. four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking Adam too good for them right Eaton. now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. And here's a ball hit in the air. Gordon ranging into the outfield. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Hey, anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. Six to two, the final total today. Here now is our the final year. Game tonight. From Cobb County, Georgia, we welcome you to baseball from SunTrust Park. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the Miami Marlins. Aaron Blair gets the starting assignment for the Braves. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, third. but I think if Left this guy can have two or three of his four pitches Brown. and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. First delivery to him on the way. Hard hit ball to short, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Well, that's a tough one right there. If that ball's at somebody, probably a double play. But as a result, it's one of those seeing eye singles just found the hole. In is Christian Yelich. He enters play, Ready hitting in the 260s for the fielder. year. Christian Yelich. Get your pitch, huh? Ready to deliver the full count pitch. And he misses with it, ball four. So that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. So striding in, Martin Prado. The season batting average comes in down in the 240s. Hey, stay hot now. The 0 2 delivery. This is on the ground over to first. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. One run is scored. And Montero's tag will be applied a fraction too late. He's in there to score. Well, that was just a good pitch. He was able to fight it off and drop it in to pick up two. Now at the plate, Ender Inciarte. He brings an average Center in the Hilda. 260s into Ender. this one. Inciarte. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Around second now, and this ball still hasn't been fielded. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. And the home crowd is absolutely eating this up. Let off the home half of the first with a triple, and they're applying the pressure right from the get-go. Into the box. Freddie Freeman entering play. He's ranked number six in the National League RBI Freddy race and with a chance to Freeman. add to that total here. He's set. Here's the 3 1. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Catch is made. Here comes the runner from third. And they are on the board as the run scores from third to cut the lead to 2 1 now. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Catfish Brown. Catfish Brown. One time, right now. First delivery to him on the way. Nope, that's a ball. And a neck high fastball that time. H, these Braves as they take the field here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Well, Matt, it's always nice to play at home, and they got off on the right foot winning the first game of the series here, and they got a chance really to, to win this game and maybe even sweep this series. So the first one's an important game. And that swung on and fouled straight back. See you driving, kids. See you driving. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Curveball one. that time, not even close. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon. And this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. 
He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Three balls. And there's Watch one three. well above the zone for a ball. Three and one. This guy, whoo, he's a good hitter. This is the kind of count gets him excited. All right, come on now. One time, let it fly. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs hey, to shorten up right with two strikes. All right, three two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. He's set. Here's the three and two. Grounded to the right. Peterson's able to get there. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So one run, one hit, one brave error. Now at the plate, Austin Jackson. And as you can see, he's seen that average climb the last week or so. Austin Jackson. Here it comes, 0 and 2. This one's flared toward left center. Brown coming on, but he won't get there. It falls in. When you're hot, that's what happens. Balls like that fall in for you. When you're cold, that gets caught. This is a hot streak he's on right now, so you take advantage of it. Ride it while it's good. Digging in once again. Catfish oh, Brown. Morning. He's one for Plus two fielder. in the ball game. Catfish Brown. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. Hey, let's go, kid. What's up, man? This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now. 0 and 2. And rarely do you see a player of his caliber fooled that badly, but he was tied up in knots that time. Too. So here's Matt Kemp now. Now Career batting. numbers against right Chen. Fielder. He's gone three for Matt. eight. He also Matt. has one home run. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Brown moves over, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We're through five here at the. Digging in to try it again. Catfish Brown. Left fielder. Catfish Brown. Moving right here one time. She'll look to first. And a dive, but he's back. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Here comes the 1 0. Pitch swung on and hit on the ground for Freeman over there at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left. Riding in once again, Leading Catfish Brown. He'll start things out for us here in inning number eight. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. He swung so hard, I don't know how he stayed on his feet or kept his helmet on. I'm surprised he didn't fall down. He swung so hard. What a big swing. Fouled back. Have a rip like you can. Here we go now, huh? Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. That's a big fastball, obviously. And we're going to see this reliever throw it a lot. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Now here it comes. And he sends one deep down the right field line. Kemp has a read on it. One down. Hey, anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. 8-3 tonight. Wei in Chen. Now from Cobb County, Georgia. Look and there at Sun Trust Park. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series. Between the Miami Marlins, Julio Tehran is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Braves. What do we need to know here, HR? 
Well, I love watching this guy Not pitch, and particularly Left when fielder. he's got runners in Captain scoring position. He's a guy that gets better when he has runners on base. So I'm looking forward to seeing if he gets in a jam. What does he do to get out of these jams where his numbers look so good with runners in scoring position? Well, he's been on a bit of a cold streak, and he gets a base hit there. That's the kind of hit. He didn't hit it hard. This is one of those that you need to get in the hit column. This is a good jump start for him. Now at the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. He's a long ball threat, of course, currently number four in the National League home run race. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. And, oh, he can't knock this one down as it zips right by him into left. Matt, it looked like he didn't want any part of that ball. I know it was hit hard, but come on, man. At least knock it down. Body up. Man up. Let's go. Stepping in, JT Real Muto. Not the shiniest of batting average as he comes in hitting JT down in the 220s for the year. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Digging in for his second at bat, Catfish Brown. Catfish. First delivery to him on the way. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Ball two. Boy, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. Right, he time. can't do a whole lot with that, but if it were a little lower, he can and will make you pay big time. And that'll get down for a base hit. Oh, and the throwback in is a wild one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, we always expect him, if he's got two hits in the hit column, something's going to be over the boards. But hey, he'll take the two singles. Not complaining. Ready for another chance. Giancarlo Stanton. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Come on, baby. See it, drive it. Let's go. Oh, and he gets a fastball up in the zone, and he hammers it out to deep left field. And this baby is gone. A home run. I know I get big money for my expert analysis, but this is pretty simple. If you put a fastball up in the zone, over the heart of the plate, this guy's going to turn it around in a heartbeat. This one was no shocker. Digging in and looking for more. Catfish Brown. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And this is taken outside for ball one. Now we're going to see what he's made of, Matt. He got a couple of runs right there. They put on the board for him, but now you got to be that stopper. This is the half inning. You got to shut them down after you were given some runs. That's inside. 2 0. 2 0 count. Here it comes. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. The good hitters, they don't usually have trouble with the low 90s fastball. He might have been looking for something else. And this is fouled straight back. Hey, stick your plan up there, kid. He's Get set. The Here's the 2 2. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. So here's Matt Kemp now. Head-to-head head head history with Vance right Worley. Fielder. Just three for 14. Matt. He's Matt. taken him deep once. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Brown has a read on it. No trouble with this one. And the inning is over. Into the box now. now Catfish Brown. He's two for three Catfish. thus far. Brown. Too oh, low, that's one and oh. Let's go right here. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Moving under it, Bonifacio. And that retires the side. 
One, two. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. Five to two, the final today. Vance Worley wins his third of the season. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball brings us to the great state of Florida and Marlins Park in Miami. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series. Edinson Volquez is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Marlins. What do you have for us on him, H? Well, Matt, you know what's cool? We get a chance to talk to players, and talking with him the other day, he's going for his 100th win today. He's well aware of it. A lot of people are not. That's a big number, and he's excited about the opportunity to win his 100th game. Schwarber is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. Digging in to try it again. Up next for the Catfish Marlins. Brown. Left fielder. As he's got a chance Catfish to tie this ball Brown. game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Now I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline. So if he puts a ground ball in play, the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. Zero. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. Here comes another 0-2. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. I like the pitch right there, Matt. Bases loaded. You've got to look for that strikeout right there. That's a nasty pitch for the hitter to lay off of. I'd come back with it again. One and two. Here it comes. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Here he comes again. One, two. Drilled right back up the middle. There's one back to Rizzo and they get out of it here a double play to retire the side. Striding in once again catfish Brown to start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that quite frankly had they've been completely overmatched to this point one hit through five innings. I mean what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic. We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hit hard up the middle. Russell ranging to his right, and he's retired one away. Here's Chris Bryant now. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. And the seventh inning starts with a fly out here, one away. Here we go, guys. The batter, second baseman, Johnny Giappa. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Brown has a play, and that's the second out of the inning. Ready once again. Catfish Brown. Left fielder. Catfish. First pitch of the at bat. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Hey, needs you right here. One time. Let's go. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0 and 2 now. I'll tell you, he just doesn't look comfortable in the box to me tonight. He's been off balance with his swings, and that one completely tied him up. Hey, let's go, kid. One time right here. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him, and I doubt there was any intent behind that. Well, you never want the tying run on base, especially that way. Looked like he lost his release point, and the ball ran inside until it the caught right him. Now we'll see if he can work around it. Giancarlo Stanton. No, no he's going, he's going. Runners he's going. on the move for second to third. Right to Bryant. 
And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Marlins leave one. Our score remains two to one. And he puts a bow on this one to end it. How about his 25th save of the season? He's proven to be a solid tool at the back of the bullpen, and every team needs one of those. Tonight's ball game comes to a close.